Join History Victorum as we visit the Temple of Concordia in Agrigento, Sicily. The best preserved temple on the hill in the Valley of the Temples and one of the best preserved temples anywhere outside of Greece. The entablature, which is the horizontal section that rests on top of the columns, is intact, which is unique in the Valley of the Temples. It was built in the Doric style and is made of limestone and is well preserved due to its conversion into a Christian church. It is called the Temple of Concordia due to a 1st century Roman inscription which was found nearby. It has been determined that it actually is not related to the temple, and there has been no determination of whom the temple was dedicated to. The temple was built between 440 and 430 BC, which was during the Golden Age of Greece and the time of Socrates. Local limestone was used to build it in the Doric style, and originally it was white with red columns. Four tall steps lead up to the temple's foundation, and you'll notice on the short side are six columns, while the long sides have 13 columns each. If you look closely at the columns, you'll notice that they are made of four drums or sections stacked on top of each other. Each column also has 20 flutes, which are the grooves that run vertically on the column. The column height is close to seven meters tall, and they do not stand vertically, but they move inward by a few millimeters, with some swelling at a third of the way up the column. You'll also notice that the space between the columns gradually becomes more narrow as the columns move from the center of the temple outward towards the corners. Another thing to know is the entablature, which is the rectangular section sitting on top of the columns. This is unique in the Valley of the Temples since it is still intact, unlike other temples that may only have columns remaining. In the late 6th century, the temple was turned into a Christian church. The church was consecrated to St. Peter and St. Paul after Gregory, Bishop of Agrigento, liberated the building of two demons that dwelled in it. This has led many to believe that the temple was originally dedicated to two Greek gods and numerous gods have been thrown out as possibilities. As part of the conversion to a Christian church, the spaces between the columns were walled up. The inside of the building originally had three rooms, which were made into one larger space to allow for the entry from the west side, and six rounded arches were built on the long sides of that wall. The result was that the inside of the church now had three naves. In 1748, the building was deconsecrated and was no longer used as a church. The tombs and structural changes of the church remained. In 1788, the Prince of Torremusa reopened the spaces between the columns, and the outside was restored. The inside of the structure was left intact as a single structure with the rounded arches. The roof was originally supported by wood with terracotta tiles, and due to the fact that it was made out of wood, it no longer is visible to us today. Along with the Parthenon, the Temple of Concordia is considered by many as the best preserved Doric temple in the world.
Thank you for joining History Victorum. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.